Hey everyone, it's the final round and my name is Jordan. This is a channel where the episodes come out the day before the games are played. Um, if you would like to discuss the lines um, as the rest of them come out or just discuss the lines during the day and uh, talk to other people about their slips and, and what they're picking. Um, I have a Discord, the link is in the description. It's free, uh, you, free to join. Uh, it's a great community, uh, a lot of good conversation with people bringing their different research and different perspective. Uh, to find plays that you know I, I can't give because I can't give everything. Um, I don't charge for any of this. Uh, I'm not hiding any picks behind a paywall or anything like that. But if you do well with the information and you feel like giving back, I have a cash app and a Venmo in the description and you can donate back to the channel. So if you can, please like the video. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Um, almost 50% of you that watch um, aren't subscribed. So if you're one of those people or if you're new, um, just press the subscribe button and uh, I very much appreciate it. And if you have a little bit of extra time, can you leave a comment for the algorithm? It can be anything. You can just put one letter, you can put an emoji, um, you can say hello, you can say goodbye, it, it doesn't matter. Um, just any comment tells YouTube to get this video out there uh, for other people to see. And thank you to the people who do comment. And uh, I'm partnered with a player props app called Jock Market. They do player props and trading players like stocks. Um, use promo code FINALROUND11. They'll match your first deposit from $20 to $100. And I think it's good just to have different apps just to compare lines. Sometimes you can find better plays on different apps. They're not all the same lines on every single app. And plus you get the, the free deposit match. So that's always good. And if you try out one of their trading players like Stocks Market and you lose up to $100, they'll refund your, your first time back up to $100. Uh, so you just get it back. If you make money, then you make money. So uh, it's a pretty good deal. And I'm also partnered with a, a data app called Outlier. I'll be using their app to, uh, to show off some of these picks. So this episode will be powered by Outlier. <laughs> And we just have one game to look at. It's the Sixers versus the Celtics. Um, they're saying that Embiid is more than likely doubtful for game two. And they're as long as they keep winning, they're probably gonna, you know, hold him out till he feels the best he possibly can. I feel like if they lost game one, then he would be back here. But they were able to seize home court advantage, which was crazy. There was not much defense played. Uh, there was a lot of scoring. Uh, there was a lot of turnovers on the Celtics side, uh, which cost them the game, but uh, still a ton of scoring all over. Uh, not many people went under. So I have seven picks for you guys. Uh, I'm hoping we have the same type of game. With Embiid, the pace is a little bit slower for the Sixers. Um, so we saw the pace pick up a little bit more and James Harden go back to vintage James Harden. Uh, he knew that he had to take a lot of shots. He took 30 shots. So um, my first pick's gonna be Malcolm Brogdon. Again, he has been playing great as of late. Uh, he he uh, almost hit in the first half uh, last game. Um, he hasn't been rebounding as well. So I like his 17 and a half points plus assist. Um, over his last 10 games, he's hit this eight out of 10 times. And then head to head matchups uh, with, the, with the Sixers, he's hit this four out of five times. Um, he also took 16 field goal attempts last game, so that's good volume off the bench. So I, I like Malcolm Brogdon scoring. He'll, he'll either push on assist or he'll go over that mark. Um, rebounding, he's, he's not quite getting there. Uh, so I like points plus assist instead of his PRA. Second pick, I'm looking at Tyrese Maxey. Before I was worried about his points, they had his line juiced. Uh, a little bit. It was kind of high. Uh, they, they've actually lowered it a little bit. They have it at 23 and a half points. I'm, I'm liking the over uh, this time around um, because now we, we see how the offense is going to go, how many shots are going to be taken, um, how defense is going to be played. I, I thought uh, Jalen Brown's defense was going to be able to you know kind of hold Maxi back, but he still scored really well. Um, over his last 10 games, he's gone over this 23 and a half mark. Um, seven out of ten times uh, without Joel Embiid in the lineup and last game he took 24 field goal attempts so good volume from him uh, uh, third pick's gonna be Marcus Smart PRA at 19 and a half it hasn't changed I know it kind of was a sweat all the way up until the fourth quarter it he was just getting assist uh, 
I think his assist line is at five and a half if you guys just like that. It just took him a little while to get more comfortable and, and take more shots. All he needed to do was shoot and he was able to score. So hopefully uh, he can take that fourth quarter and bring it into the first quarter and throughout the game in game two. Um, so I'm liking his PRA over on 19 and a half. He's played well all the last series against the Hawks and then he just, it kind of finally got to him in that fourth quarter. So um, over his last 10 games, he's hit this mark eight out of 10 times. And as long as they keep that line low, um, I'm gonna like the over for Marcus Smart. And fourth base can be Al Horford um, over on his points, rebounds, and assists. Um, they have it at 17 and a half. He's gone over in head-to-head -head matchups uh, four out of four times. Whenever he plays 30 minutes or more, anytime he hasn't played 30 minutes or more, um, he, he goes under. But I, I, he's definitely going to be getting uh, more than 30 minutes when um, Embiid's not there. I, I feel like when Embiid plays... Uh, Robert Williams is going to get some more minutes and Horford might come off uh, for a little bit. And fifth pick, uh, we went with this last game, uh, Jason Tatum, rebounds plus assists. Uh, they bumped it up by one, uh, which is still fine. He's still hitting it uh, really easily because um, uh, his rebounds went up from eight and a half to now nine and a half. Uh, so they have it at 14 and a half and I'm still liking the over. Um, he In head-to-head -head matchups, he's hit this eight out of nine times. And that's with Joel Embiid playing. Um, if you do like that, his points and you want to add that on there, um, you can. I just, uh, him and Jalen Brown kind of trade off sometimes. So I can't say he's going to go over uh, 30 points. I think he's at 29 and a half where they have his points. But definitely a rebounds and assists for Jason Tatum. I'm liking the over on that one. So you can tell I'm, I'm liking a lot more overs again. But watch this be like a really good defensive play game after i say all this um six pick uh, there's no historical data to back this up other than one game um, but i think we need to respect it with joel and beat out um, james harden points line they have it at 23 and a half if he's going to take 30 shots uh, we have to respect that uh, if if joel and beat's not going to play it's it's not like harden's going to go out there and only take you know like five to 10 shots after taking 30. Um, taking 30 got them the win. So if they lost, then maybe they would you know, try to change things up. Um, but we have to respect that 30 field goal attempts and look at the over uh, for 23 and a half points for James Harden. Uh, that actually seems kind of low after a game like that. You'd think they'd bump it up to like 27 and a half or 28 and a half. But we can't just ignore 30 field goal attempts. Uh, so he hasn't been scoring, the, he hasn't been hitting this line in the past, even with Joel Embiid out. But uh, he just uh, went back to old James Harden. And um, I'm going to pick him to, to go over it again with him taking uh, that many field goal attempts. Or not 30, but pretty close to it. In seventh pick, his lines are not out yet, but he played very well. Uh, Paul Reed. They had his points really low last time. I think it was like like six and a half or seven and a half. And I didn't see his rebounds, but he scored 10 points. He got 13 rebounds and two assists. Um, so if we get a, a really low line uh, for, if we get like uh, uh, seven and a half points or six and a half points and then uh, the eight and a half rebounds or like a 17 and a half PRA, kind of like Al Horford, uh, I would definitely like the over on that. I think he played really well substituting for Joel Embiid, uh, doing what he could um, with his job, getting rebounds and getting putbacks and and uh, an assist here and there. Once Paul Reed's lines come out, uh, definitely take a look at those. It, it could be a, a steal. So that's seven picks from one game. I'm definitely expecting more uh, back and forth scoring. It's, it's either that or the Celtics are going to step up on defense and and this is gonna be a blowout, but we said that last game and it did not. Uh, I think the only good defensive quarter from both teams was the third quarter after halftime and then it went right back to, to scoring. So uh, this could be another high scoring game, which is always good for overs. And these lines didn't really change too much. So uh, we're, we're gonna stick with, with that and hope for uh, another high octane matchup. So I hope these do well for you guys. Uh, I know it's a lot of picks, a lot of channels like to give like two or three picks and, and I just gave seven. So there's um, putting myself out there to, to miss a lot of them. Um, but 
Uh, hopefully they all hit, and uh, uh, hopefully it's not a really good like defensive game. So God bless you all. It's the final round. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.